to this week's video in my kitchen. Y'all, I actually have been planning this video for a minute here and I was inspired by, actually, let me go grab it. Okay, so it's actually inspired by this apple butter candle that I have from Antique Candle Co. And y'all, I know, I know that I've talked about this candle like 10 times, but it literally smells exactly like what I could hope that fall smells like it is so good there's also this one called uh pumpkin apple or apple pumpkin i think that is on our fireplace right now that i have been burning literally constantly i should i should like this anyway i was excited because they actually just came out with their christmas stuff which i know it's like a little bit early for christmas content but they sent us this tree farm one as you can see Y'all, my husband died when he opened this. It literally, it smells so good. But I can't go there yet. I can't go there yet because it's still fall time. <laughs> but anyway, I know that these guys are having like a 30% off deal going on. I think October 17th through the 23rd. I'll need to check on that. I'll put it in the um, description below if I remember. Good grief. I've been forgetting to put all kinds of stuff in my description lately. Anyway, but my video was inspired this because y'all, as much as I love pumpkin spice, it's my jam. I think that I'm actually more of an apple girl than a pumpkin girl. I am obsessed with apples. So I decided to make a pumpkin, <laughs> I decided to make an apple themed video for this week. I kind of got the idea because we go to this apple orchard every year in Nebraska city. So I figured I would take y'all with us to the orchard. We're going to do a little bit of apple picking and then we can come back here and I've got some apple recipes that I'm interested in making and we can just have like a cozy fall day picking some apples, doing apple stuff. Also, oh my gosh, people, have you seen my Rory Gilmore sweater? <laughs> Okay, so this is brand new. I have been looking online for a perfect 100% cotton. Let me just say that. This is a 100% cotton Rory Gilmore sweatshirt. And I will say that hers is a little bit longer than this, but I was looking online trying to find something like this. And all I could find was these cute shirts, but they're made out of like polyester and acrylic and nothing that was 100% cotton. And I found this one at Quince like the online store, y'all, they sent me a few things. Let me take you into my bedroom and tell you a little bit about them. So good. Okay, into the bedroom we go. <laughs> y'all, don't mind my underwear lines, all right? I'm a full butt underwear line girl, okay? It's my brand. <laughs> I gotta have it and y'all can't make me change. Also, don't mind that my bed is, you know, not covered in anything. I am currently washing my sheets because, listen, this is exciting. I am hosting our like YouTubers retreat in my home. So I'll put up a little photo to remind you guys who is going to be here. My friend Andrea from Pine and Prospect Home, Cammie from Tidbits, Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone, Sarah from She Holds Dearly, Sarah from Grace in My Space. Y'all, they are all coming to my house to stay here for like multiple days on the end tomorrow. So I'm losing my mind. I'm washing my sheets and we are stoked for this. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit better look at this. And they sent me a few other pieces as well. So I just wanted to get you a nice close up. I am literally obsessed with everything on their website and I had the hardest time even paring down to a few items to request from them. Okay, so let me read you all these guys' brand promise. It says, we believe quality products can elevate your life, especially when they're sustainably made and affordably priced. So we built our own brand committed to making exceptionally high quality essentials at a price within reach because everyone deserves to fill their life with the finer things. Y'all, this is cashmere. <laughs> So their grade A Mongolian cashmere is what has put these guys on the map. It is like impossibly soft. The price is great and it's always in style. These guys have taken luxury up a notch with their latest cashmere. You can expect the highest quality 
unrivaled softness and a durability that redefines your expectations. It is their softest cashmere yet. It has an improved hand feel that is irresistibly smooth. I'm gonna try on the next piece that they sent me. It's like a cardigan and I'm gonna pair it with this really cute dress. Okay, is it dumb that I am so excited about <laughs> shooting baking apple stuff in this dress? I feel like it's perfect for today, but it's actually kind of cold outside. So we're gonna go ahead and put on this cute cardigan that they sent over, y'all. What is this? With their enhanced yarn tension, their cashmere is actually more substantial than ever. It offers a thicker and cozier feel that is absolutely perfect for these cooler days. This cashmere is made to withstand the test of time and their advanced pulling resistance makes sure that it looks great wear after wear. Quince believes that quality should not be a luxury, so they choose premium materials and designs that stand the test of time. Their products feel nicer and last longer on purpose. Also, they believe that everyone should have access to nice things. So they keep their prices low by using a factory direct model that cuts out the supply chain middlemen and reduces costs. They also believe in sustainability. It's built in everything they do. Whenever possible, they choose organic materials, environmentally conscious packaging, and ethical business practices. All right, so I feel like this is perfect for today's video. So we're gonna roll forward with this. <laughs> Let's go to the apple orchards. Were you like a pig? Were you like a piggy? Yeah. When you said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, we are on our way to Nebraska City right now. We try to come down here every year if we can in the fall time just because it's so cute. Each year they do what's called the Applejack Festival in Nebraska City. We missed it this year because we were all out of town, but we're gonna kind of make our own this time. Honestly, our favorite thing about going to the Applejack Festival is going to this place that's called Arbor Day Farms down in Nebraska City. Just a little history lesson over here. Nebraska City and Nebraska in general is the birthplace of Arbor Day. I think that the story behind it, and y'all will probably have to check me on this, is that they started Arbor Day here because whenever people settled here, there were like no trees at all in the Nebraska area. It was all just flat plains. So the legend is 90% of the trees in Nebraska were either planted or are the result of a planted tree. So it's cute. They give away little trees at Arbor Day Farm, like free trees with entry. Also, Nebraska City is like the home of everything apple. It's apples galore. We'll take y'all along with us and do some fun little fall apple stuff. Look at me. <laughs> so a puppy! Cute! Rosie's kind of a little fox. It's a puppy! Hi, Mom! Hey! Can you go to the top, Mommy? I don't know, it seems kind of dangerous. So we thought we were coming on an off weekend, but turns out that they extended the Applejack Festival by another week, so it is madness here. <laughs> so in the midst of all of this wild stuff that is going on around the world, what with the election and all of these crazy natural disaster type situations, listen y'all, 
we are not exempt. We've had this tornado come through, plus we had a windstorm that was just as, if not more destructive than all of the tornadoes that came through in April. It's just, I think it's easy to get sucked into all of the bad that's going on or all of the panic. And I also have not been exempt from that either. I have done my share of doom scrolling and being like, oh my gosh, what's happening next? Like, you know, what with these hurricanes and just all of the bizarre things that are happening and I think it's so easy to really look at all of that and think like oh my gosh is there good in the world but y'all I want you to take a look at this footage of these children okay these are my kiddos and I want you guys to see the joy on their faces y'all this is the look of kids who know their parents they know that with us they are safe they know that they can rely on us that we will care for them and that they can live to be their full selves and just enjoy their lives to the absolute fullest all that to say that i need to remind y'all that we are our father's children and regardless of what is going on in the world even if we have been really affected by these disasters that we can trust him that he is in control he has us i also want to encourage y'all that instead of focusing on darkness and sadness and destruction devastation look up at the sky look at the trees that are turning all these beautiful colors this was like the last weekend before everything started to turn in nebraska y'all i'm telling you as i'm recording this i'm looking at my window and it is beautiful I just want to remind you, and I know I put this in my video a couple weeks ago, that scripture from Genesis 8, 22, it says, as long as the earth remains, there will be planting and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night. And I love this because it just reminds us that although things around us can feel so chaotic, that our Lord is constant and we can always lean into him and trust him especially in these circumstances. It says that God is close to the brokenhearted. He is close to those who mourn. That means that they are actually blessed that they are going through hardships because that means that they are calling on the name of the Lord. And fam, I just encourage you to call on the Lord in these circumstances when things get difficult, when the days get dark and he will be close to you. It says, knock and I will answer, seek and you will find me. Ugh, okay, I could go on and on, but I just wanted to say that and encourage y'all in this season that hope is not lost. He is still in control regardless of who is elected. That doesn't matter. Jesus died for you. He loves you and he's here to save you and the world. All right, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Let's watch these cute kids pick a couple apples. You guys look great. Mom, can I eat this Wait, one? Wait, we can? I don't know if you're supposed to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Careful. Okay, listen. You guys can each eat one, okay? I get it. Oh, that's terrifying. Baking. 
Okay, so we've never made morning glory muffins, but we're going to give it a shot today. And what would you think about warming up some apple cider? <laughs> Ruby is our resident apple queen, queen of all the apples. Are you excited mm -hmm. to help me today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. let's get started. We need to buy a lot, don't we? Because Ruby needs a lot. We do buy, <laughs> we do buy a lot of apples. We need like something to make it in, so can I use this? fancy over here. We just buy our cider in a jug. Okay, so we're not going to do anything real crazy or fancy. We're just going to go online, find a recipe, and follow it. So I'm going to have Rosie find something for us. So, I set out all of our ingredients here. First things first, we've got to shred some carrots. This one is a half cup, so we're gonna have two of these for every cup that we need. And we need two cups of flour. And this is flour. Okay. Okay, there's half, yep, so dump it in. Get that. Okay, so two halves, what does that make? Two halves makes one cup. So how many cups are we doing? Two. That's right, so how many more half cups do we need? Two. That's right, good job, babe, you're so smart. All right, there you go. We need one and a quarter cups white sugar. Spilled again. Rosie, Rosie's working so hard on these carrots if you can't hear. <laughs> You see T B S P. Do you think that's teaspoon or tablespoon? Tablespoon. That's table, but we don't need a table. We need a teaspoon. So a teaspoon is T S P. There's no B in it. You see that? So we need two of these. We're gonna do two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay, can you hold it still, please? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna let that be. So go ahead and dump it in. We're gonna call that two teaspoons. One cup of carrots. Okay, so I'm gonna put a half cup of raisins in. You feel such good ideas. Okay, you can put it in and start mixing it. Good job, baby. <laughs> That's enough. We're gonna do a half. Of chopped walnuts. Hey, mommy, Ashley. Um, can I pour it? In? Hey. You can stir it, okay? Okay. Ready? Good. Okay, one half cup coconut. So we've got three I eggs. eggs. Good job. 
y'all. I forgot the apples. <laughs> I just did this whole thing and it was all about apples and I forgot the apples. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta dump these back in. Thank God I didn't bake them. I cannot believe that. This is the story of my life and my channel. Kristen forgets everything. That's so cute. I love it. Wasn't that so good? Yeah. So hey, good. Mommy, watch the lily dance. Okay. So cute. <laughs> the muffins are in the oven, but baby girl is feeling sad. Are you feeling sad? You crying? You want to help me? Yeah, you should help me. We are starting to run out of sunlight and it's time for us to wrap up this video. So thank you so much for being here. If you guys are not already, please consider subscribing. It really makes a huge impact on our family and we just really appreciate y'all being here. Stay tuned for next week when I take y'all on our retreat that we're hosting in our home with all of these awesome YouTube content creators. Check out their channels. I'll link them below if you guys are not familiar with them. And we cannot wait to see you next week. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>